Okay, so in this session, you're going to work on two different tasks. The first one is about TI analytics. So I have configured, and let me show you here in the server, I have configured a TI analytic on the contact registration and follow-up program. So if I go here, um, the it's going to use the follow-up program stage. And uh, you have this title, this is the temperature, and that it's where, what, what are we going to be checking the evolution of? It will be a line chart with a daily period type and the data, data element is a temperature. So what I want you to do is, I know you have created some TIs on that particular program. And if you haven't, then you can create a new one. And in that one, uh, you need to add in that follow-up stage, you need to add five to 10 events. And for each one, you need to add different values to the temperature data element, uh, which I think it's in the symptom section. And just a tip, remember to uh, create each event with different dates. Of course, you could create it in the multiple events with the same date, but you won't be able to see the chart as pretty and with the different dates. And finally, you check the temperature evolution in the chart and that will be the first screenshot. Then I will summarize all the screenshots that we need. In the second task, it's about the, you're going to do it in, in the home analytics. Um, so, but in the, that home analytic is being uh, the data that that is there it's from the COVID aggregated weekly surveillance data set so you need to go to that data set and add four periods which i know there are weeks uh, of at least two different months if you already have though that information that you don't have to add anything else but if you're missing or if you want to add different months just to see how the filter uh, of the period works then you could do that and then in the home and you could review and check how the values changes from in both of the tabs in home and data set analytic tab. But the screenshots are two. And the first one is go to this chart that has a really long name and you change it as a to a line chart. And then that is that will be the first screenshot. And the second screenshot is you return that to a bar chart and then apply a monthly period filter, any monthly period filter that you want. That will be the second, the second screenshot. So in summary, you need to submit three screenshots. The first one is of your device showing the temperature evolution chart. Uh, the second one is of your device showing this particular chart that is in the home screen, in the home screen tab, uh, analytic tab as a line chart. And then the same uh, chart, but again, as the bar chart with a filter by a monthly period. Those are the three uh, screenshots that you need to, that you need to do. Okay, and uh, finally, we have the word of the date that is metadata that you need to add it for your attendance. So please copy these. And also please remember to provide feedback uh, for today's session. Um, we really appreciate the time that you take by doing this. So if you have any questions right now about the task, please let me know. And see, we, we do have a question on the chat, on Slack, okay. sorry. Uh, Pacific was asking if you could, let me read it. Uh, could you please explain what visualization item it is and how it is created? Okay, sure. Let me show you here. That is for the second task, right? Or it doesn't say? He doesn't say, that. but Pacific, I think you, you are welcome to open the microphone if you want. I think you have the power. So in case you want to clarify the question. Okay, well, if it is for the second task, uh, that chart is located at the home 
uh, analytics tab and is the one that it's on the aggregated weekly surveillance. You'll see that is the name, which is a really long name. In here, you need to first change it to a line chart. You take a screenshot, then you take it back to a bar chart and add a, a period filter, a monthly period filter, and you take a second screenshot. For the first uh, task, you'll need to go to the contact registration and follow up. You need to create a TI if you don't have uh, created any of them here. You created a new one and then you add the five to 10 follow up events with the temperature. I don't know if that clarifies. Uh, sorry, can you hear me? Yes, I can yes. hear you. Yeah, uh, what I was saying, it's, a, it's not related to tasks. Uh, for example, if we go there, there are some in, uh, that are called uh, visual, visualization, that, visualization items. They yeah. are on, on what you are showing. But uh, if I remember, well, I didn't see uh, how this is created. We can oh, okay. on Ray, but uh, I don't know if we we know how to create this or if it's not in this. Yeah, it is not covered in this or something. Okay. 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 So I, I know what you're saying. Okay. So every chart uh, we created using this data visualizer app. So if you go here, uh, you could use different information, um, uh, different dimensions. For example, let's open a new one. Let's say this one. So as you could see, well, this is probably not supported by the app, not sure, but we have uh, the items here that you could use program indicators or indicators or any data that you need to display. And then you also can select a period, uh, the time that you uh, need for it to, to display here in the, um, in the chart. For example, here is showing week by week, the last 12, uh, 14 weeks, sorry, 14 weeks. And then you could select the organization unit, which in this case is user organization unit, but it could be, it's not supported by the app, but of course, there could be some fixed organization units that you select, but we recommend using the user organization unit, which is what we support for now. So um, yeah, but this is the tool that you use to create those visualization. It's called data visualizer. Does that answer your question? It means that every chat that we create, it is called a visualization item. Yeah. Every chart or every table, yeah, or, or exactly. single value. Okay. We are we are using visualization item as a generic term for anything that you create using the visualizer and you save it because that's yes. a step two. Yeah, maybe the term we are used to it, but we we it's not very intuitive. Thank you, Pacific. I get it. Thank you. Let's see. And also, some people are asking if you can go to the word of today. If you can put it again. Yes. Here it is. Ibrahim, I hope that helps you because you were asking in the chat, but you just have a drop on the connection. So now we have time for, for, for are you okay for you to do the exercise? So we are gonna remain here in case you have questions for this exercise. Afterwards, you know, we have a optional Q and A session in case you did not manage to find uh, the time or you couldn't um, get enough help with the exercises. So we were gonna remain here and at one point, if you finish the exercise and you want to question, we can also use the last 10 minutes of this session in case you all have finished before. Yes, another uh, a question is coming um, from, from the Slack. Nancy, the, the chart you had, the spreadsheet with what's supported and what is not supported, has already been shared with the participants? Is it included in the materials? Yeah. 
it's in here in the in the previous uh, presentation. If you go to helpful documentation, which is uh, um, the last slide, uh, you could click on here and it says offline analytics limitations. And that is the spreadsheet with um, limitations or restrictions. Uh, Abdul, yes, if you already have data there, um, yeah, but you need to show at least five um, different values of temperature. If you already have that in one of the TIs, then you could use that. So for task two, uh, yeah, the default, the default period. Um, well, you could change that in case you want to see the lines differently, because if otherwise you're only going to see the three dots. So yeah, it's a good idea to add a filter as well, just for you to see the lines. Thank you. 